Hey everybody and welcome back to the Mystical Rebel channel here on YouTube. I am your host, the Mystical Rebel. And today's video, we are going to be discussing the three reasons, or my three reasons, why the Ouija board is an unreliable form of spirit communication. So let's go ahead and get started. So reason number one is that the boards are mass produced. Uh, so the companies that mass produce these boards are board game companies, toy companies, collectible companies. Um, I'm going to just assume that those companies are not magical or occult related companies in any sense of the word outside of making those items for like toys or games. Uh, so the boards are not magical in any sense of the word, at least in and of themselves. They're mass produced in a factory or some sort of a warehouse or a plant or something along those lines. Um, they're not enchanted, they're not inspirited, they're not spelled or whatever term you want to use um, to denote that an item has magical properties, whether inherent or latent. Um, these boards have none. Uh, they come from a factory, they're mass produced, and they're sold in shops and online stores all over the world, such as Walmart, Target, and other such shops. These boards have no magical properties in and of themselves. Uh, they're just pieces of wood or pieces of plastic that is no different than if you bought a dry erase board and just, you know, wrote out letters and numbers on it yourself. It would literally be the same thing. It's not magical in and of itself. Um, so that would probably be the biggest reason, which is why it's number one, um, why these boards are unreliable. Number two, you are probably not magical. Um, and that's not meant to be an insult or to, you know, poop on anybody or anything like that. But take a look around Reddit, take a look around Twitter, take a look around Tumblr, take a look around, you know, any sort of social media um, where the paranormal is like shared and most of the people using Ouija boards are not magical practitioners. It's the everyday person who just has an interest in the paranormal or for some reason they're using an Ouija board. Um, and so when I say you're not magical, I mean you don't know how to use a Ouija board. Uh, so let's go back to uh, the first reason and let's assume that you do have a board that is enchanted or is spelled or is inspirited or something along those lines and it can attract spirits. Let's say that you went online or you went to your local witch shop and you bought your board from an actual practitioner, a witch, a shaman, a mystic, uh, a magician, a magus, whatever. You bought your board from an actual practitioner, they handmade it, enchanted it, spelled it, whatever, and you're ready to go, right? That's not all you need. You also need to know how to activate whatever enchantment is on this board in order for it to attract spirits. The board just doesn't work out of the box. Unfortunately, magic is not plug and play. You have to know how each component works. And a lot of those components are within yourself. Uh, so if you don't know how to activate whatever is within this board, it's not going to do anything for you. Unfortunately, it's not as simple as just sitting down saying, is anybody here with us? And then the planchette just starts moving around the board. You would have to know how to activate whatever spell or whatever is in this board in order for it to attract spirits. And then that, of course, will lead us into the third reason, which plays off of reason number two. Spirit work is not that easy. I am sorry to tell you, it is not as easy as the movies make it seem, as TV makes it seem. I know that that stuff is entertaining. It's entertaining to open up a dusty book and read some Latin words and then poof, the demon appears. Or it's entertaining to watch those ghost hunting shows where, you know, you take your you know, Radio Shack bought or Best Buy bought or, you know, whatever bought tape recorder and you are walking around some haunted house saying, is anyone here with us? Is anyone here with us? And then it goes and everyone's like, oh my God, did you hear that? Did you hear that? It's not that easy. That stuff is entertaining. It's good for a nice little laugh or whatever, but that's not, that's not legitimate spirit work. And you don't have to take my word for it. You can ask any other practitioner out there. Um, you would want to go to the um, practices that mainly work with spirits, such as the ATRs and the ADRs, a lot of them are spirit-led um, rather than direct magic. So um, check them out and you will see that spirit work is not as easy as just laying out your board and saying, well, is anybody here with us? And then expecting the board to move around. Uh, there are legitimate and veritable rituals out there 
that are done in order to conjure or evoke or summon or invoke a spirit. You would have to know how to first locate a spirit. You would have to know how to get their attention and petition the spirit. You would have to know how to actually get the spirit to come to you and make itself known. You can't go on ego. You can't go on mental masturbation. You can't go on this new age. Well, I know that they're there because I feel it and I'm walking in love and hmm, standing in my power. That's not, that's not how you do anything with anything. That's not how spirit work works. You have to know veritably that the spirit is there it has to make itself known somehow and then you can begin two-way communication so there's a whole process to uh, going into spirit work I, I wish it was as easy as pulling out my walmart purchased you know ouija board that's nothing but plastic that says made by parker brothers the same guys who make monopoly but you know i i wish it was that easy and i just hold a pendulum over it and say well any anybody here and then i'm talking to you know some guy who died in the 1950s that would be nice but unfortunately it's not that easy um so those are my three reasons why the ouija board is an unreliable form of a communication if you're someone out there who uses a ouija board um and you're an occult practitioner um I mean, it's your practice. You're free to do what, what you want. But I, I hope you know that there are other more legitimate methods, more accurate methods, more reliable methods of spirit communication out there. And, um, you know, I would uh, hope that you would want to explore them. And, you know, uh, if you try them out, I think you'll see that, uh, you know, there are, you know, methods such as evocation, um, such as conjury that are more reliable. You can astro travel if you're proficient at uh, astro projecting. You can astro travel to the realm of the spirit through gate walking and things like that. So there's other methods out there that are more reliable and more accurate than in a Ouija board. Um, so those are my three reasons. Thanks for checking out my video. Uh, like and subscribe and let me know in the comments um, what are some videos you guys want to see uh, me do. I, I do want to try to stay away from the 101 type stuff. Uh, there's a million, you know, content creators out there doing the 101 type stuff. I don't want to do, you know, my favorite tarot deck or what is magic and who are the fairies and these are the planets and, you know, what are the correspondences. Uh, there's a million and one channels out there that are like that. Uh, but I am interested to see what you guys would like to uh, view on this channel and some of the content you would like to see me create. Um, so thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one.